Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Going to everybody, let's take a look at, finally at the gold market. So on the weekend we have taken a look at the Great British Pound. So overall situation there stands really interesting. So, but you can see on the gold market also is coming to some action. And uh, well, it's no surprise that the background and the triggering moment has become the situation on interest rates. So we'll just take a look what we have on the 10-year yield. That's our view on the current performance on the 10-year bonds in the United States. We think that market will hit to even level very soon because it just sends the XLP to the upside around 2%. And here we have agreement and strong confidence resistance area. It's 214, 226 degrees with the XLP. That will be the barrier the market is coming to. Simultaneously, this market is creeping higher. We take a look at this is weekly chart, by the way, guys. We take a look at the fall diagram chart. You could see the market shows outstanding performance here, showing the rally up. That presses make pressure on the gold as well. So, and uh, actually, we already thought and talked about this. As so we have incomplete major targets that stands below the market, first of all, 1670. It's major XLP. Uh, 161 at extension of this butterfly, 1640. And also we have larger A, B, C, top, O, P target at the same level. So the vehicle chart. Those of you who are watching our updates and research, you're familiar with those targets. You already know that, about that. And that actually was the reason, guys, why, why we are we're not believing actually in the strong upper reversal. Because with strong targets on the back, markets very rare turn up immediately. So the gold market in particular, that's why we do not exclude that here could happen upside reaction later, but it will be from the different levels somewhere from the 1640 and it will be by different passion. Current, passion. Currently, it seems that it might be the hand and shoulders. So it could become the left shoulder, this will be head, and then some kind of reaction could follow. As on the interest rates, as you saw, is also two. Uh, even the area is also resistance and there could be the pullback, so it could be simultaneously as on the gold as on the interest rates. But meantime, we're going, going lower. The market is not at the result, so it has ability to drop more in the current situation. That's actually the reason on the fall day from Jared, if you remember, we said in the last update that uh, it might happen that market will just ignore the OP and could turn down earlier then complete the OP. The watching for an OP to take in the short position is great stuff, but it could happen that it's no upper continuation will be. But anyway, um, now market already stands down. This ABCD passion has erased. This market dropped below the C point. This passion is not valid anymore. And actually by this drop, market is forming a bearish reversal swing because now downside action is greater than the previous swing up. This is definitely a bearish context. So in the current circumstances, definitely we are not considering taking any long positions. Uh, if you have short, that's great. You just could make a decision on where to place stop, move to break even or even tighter, and so on. But if you have missed the taking the short position, we could consider a um, few levels that might be useful for taking the short position a bit later. So take a look on the hourly chart. We have ABC passion in progress. OP has been reached. Minor retracement is done. Next level will be XOP. It's around 1688, 1690. Here is also might be minor pullback. In this case, I would consider for taking the position 17 even area because uh, this will be near a standing level in the current circumstance of the acceleration and changing the sentiment. This is just initial moment where a major breakout has happened. Also, this level coincides with the previous lows. That will be attractive. So in the pullback, it, you could consider possibly taking the short position around this area, for instance, and play, place the initial stop somewhere above the confidence, 1705, 1706, very small risk, approximately 6, 
dollars per contract, so it's not really very big risk. And then see what will happen. Of course, we do not want to get this type of reaction here. If you will see just white strong upper candle that breaks all resistances, this is not good. We need something of that sort. It's gradual, really slow action, choppy, it's minor pullback. That's the level to consider. Because we suggest that so on the euro currency, we're watching for 116. As on interest rates, we're watching for 2%. In the gold market, I think we could watch for 16. 40 area as the next next major support market could reach with that within a week maybe um, or maybe a couple of weeks so that's what we have in the gold